Rob Flax here. I play things with strings, I hit stuff, and I sing. And it's time for another episode of Fuzz Fiddle with Flax. Today we're going to take a look at a fuzz pedal that's stupid cheap and just kind of stupid in general, but it has a sound. When buying gear, it's nice to plug into it first before you try it out. But sometimes there's a fuzz pedal that's so cheap you just have to go for it. I was watching a video by YouTuber Ryan Burke. He runs a podcast called 60 Cycle Hum, and he often reviews really cheap or affordable fuzz pedals that he finds either on Amazon or on eBay or Reverb, just looking for the best sounds you can get for really low money. When he plugged into this one, I thought, that might be the best sounding fuzz I've ever heard, and it's how much? It's called the Kuvabe. And it's really kind of a silly, plain, terrible enclosure. <laughs> Take a second to look at this. It has three knobs, volume, tone, and gain. That's standard controls on an old vintage fuzz circuit. You would expect those types of controls on a tone bender or maybe a fuzz face. Um, it has standard input and output jacks, nine volt power. And there's a USB port on the side? I don't think this has any USB connectivity whatsoever. I just think that this is made in a factory somewhere where they're cranking out cheap enclosures and sticking various circuits in here. So maybe the one that has the reverb pedal, they use the USB port, but there's there's no US there's no USB in here. This is an analog circuit. There's nothing to update, there's no firmware, there's no need for a USB port. I haven't tried plugging it in to a USB port. Maybe it'll blow up my house. Could be fun. Let's just hear how it sounds. It's cheap, this is a quick and dirty demo, and I hope you'll enjoy it. As usual, my signal chain is my violin going through the Schertler Stat V pickup, going into the fuzz, then going into the tone dexter, which is bypassed, then going into my pedal board rig, I have my always on EQ from the Chase Bliss Condor and always on compression from the Crazy Tube Circuit's Golden Ratio. Otherwise, everything is off. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm gonna mute the mic so you can just hear the sound of the pickup. Oh yeah, that's big and beefy. For such a small pedal, that's a nice beefy sound. Now, if you've watched the demo that I shot of the Hawaiian Pizza Fuzz, you know that the input going into the circuit and the output, depending on the fuzz, can make a big difference. Let's see what happens when I tweak the controls. My experience with this pedal, there's not a lot of flexibility with it. It kind of just does that one sound, which is nice. I like the thumpiness of it though, so let's tweak a little bit and see how we can do. So right away, this is not cleaning up as I roll the volume back, or at least the input volume on the pedals. It doesn't have that kind of input control. Let's see. Maybe I can clean it up using very little vo input volume from my violin. I'm gonna turn this almost all the way off and just have the tiniest trace of a signal. Let's see what it does.
eh, it kind of cleans up, but I had to work really hard to find the sweet spot on this preamp knob. And I don't want to mess with that much. Basically, if it gets anything approaching a medium signal, this Kuvave fuzz just takes it and slams it against the ceiling, fuzz sausage. So, nice sustain. Not a cleanup fuzz. It's just sort of a fuzz fuzz. I would use the word woolly to describe this, and it seems to excel at doing a big, thick, chunky fuzz sound that's not very defined, like kind of a low rumbling thing if you wanted just a bed of mush to play upon. Other pedals that I've reviewed have a bit more clarity and sparkle. This one, if I turn the tone knob a little high, it just sounds a little harsh and shrill. Maybe, depending on what you plug into, it might sound better or worse, but it's kind of just a nice intro fuzz pedal. It does the fuzz thing. It's not much to screw up about it. That's pretty much all it does. Uh, let's play it with the bow just to hear. <laughs> Even before we get to that, you can hear that as I rolled up the volume going into it, it just got more and more saturated. Saturation is nice. Everybody likes saturation. That sounds pretty good. It's definitely not doing the gating thing either. When I'm not playing, you just hear this unpleasant hum noise. This is with the gain knob all the way down because I was hoping for some dynamics and that ain't gonna happen. Let's turn the gain up again somewhere in the middle and see if we can't get it more saturated. That's pretty saturated. Even though this is a pretty simple circuit, it's changing the way I play and it's doing two very interesting things. When I'm playing pizzicato, the attack of the note collapses in on itself. The transient sort of caves in and it sort of sags and squishes before it gets fully saturated and blown out. That collapsing sound can actually be kind of useful. If I play a bunch of really hard strums, you'll hear it. Listen to the front of the note. Do you hear how it sort of caves in before the fuzz blooms into existence? It's like the note is overloading the circuit, that little extra spike of volume, and it just goes, ah! and then sucks back in and sustains for forever. So you can get this really sort of thumpy, aggressive sound from this violin and this pickup that maybe you couldn't otherwise just pizzicato. Really helps define that extra start of the note. It's also noticeable when you use the bow. Sustaining the bow and just playing slurs sounds sustainy and saturated, but if I change bows, you can hear that on the bow change, it does that sort of caving in sound as well, which means that my separate bows get this really sort of weird choppy flavor to them. Listen to the bow changes.
I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure when I would use that, but it is an interesting characteristic of this pedal and many fuzzes that will force you to reconsider how you're changing your notes. If I roll the tone back a little bit, it's a nice dark sound. Let's listen to it with the tone back. be kind of fun. I don't know how well that would pop out in the mix of a band, but that's kind of the point. This is a nice woolly bass layer that you can let get saturated. It's got a nice sound. It's kind of its own thing, and I like the way that it's so collapsy on the starts of notes. It's also very small. It doesn't take up much real estate, so if you're putting together a small pedal board and you want to have a fuzz sound that you might use sometimes, but not all the time, maybe you want to have really sustained pizzicato, the Kuvave might be the fuzz for you. It's such a weird little one-off and it's really cheap. At the time, well, I should, let's, let's Google it. Let's see how much it actually costs. As of this filming right now, I just looked it up and this Kuvave fuzz is 25 bucks from Walmart. Weird. It's 35 on Amazon, so prices may vary, but this might actually be the cheapest fuzz pedal you can buy. And it sounds pretty good. It only does one thing. The knobs are a little flimsy. It's not that well built. There's a USB port for no reason. But for 25 bucks, you really can't complain and it does some cool things. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video so that it helps boost me in the algorithm. If you have a favorite fuzz or a favorite budget fuzz, leave a comment and let me know. And if you want to watch more fuzz fiddle videos, subscribe to this channel. Thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You make this possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.